boo. I turned around and you're there. Ninja. Giant dirt pile. Yeah. I'm going to walk around, close the garage door, and then I'm going to be recording. <laughs> I'll record. I don't know. I'll stand in front of the camera the other way. Then, the flipping underdog, Moto Mania. Back at you again for another Moto Vlog. Uh, gonna check out these tires. See how they are. Got Pirelli Scorpion STR in the front. Meant to have that in the back. They sent me the wrong one. I decided to send it and go with it. Pirelli Scorpion Rally. A little more aggressive rear tire. Gonna test them out, see how it is. I'm coming from Scorpion or uh, Pirelli Diablo Corsa tires, which is like, you know, pretty good street tire. And I'm going right to an off road tire. So I'm gonna see how vibey, especially the rear, is on the road. Hopefully, how it hooks up off road. This also a wider thickness. The other tire was a 60, this is a 70. So it makes the bike a bit taller, it throws my speedometer off. Yada yada. Also gonna see how they hook up in the dirt. And uh, we'll see, first impressions. Scorp uh, Pirelli, Scorpion, Rally STR front, and straight Rally rear. Very off-roady tire. We'll see how it goes, see you on the road. On top of riding these tires for the first time, I'm meeting up with some guys that I met up on the trail, a couple of subscribers. Maybe I'll get more subscribers out of it. But yeah, meeting up with them, uh, they hit me up on uh, Facebook, they said they're riding and uh, I'm allowed to tag along, that's awesome. They're uh, local to this area, I just moved here uh, at the end of last year. So they know some trails and stuff where I could probably test these tires a little better so so far let's talk about the rear tire very aggressive rear it's probably what you would call a 40 60 tire 40 percent road 60 percent off-road i mean it might even be more aggressive than that and it's not extremely vibey on the road honestly it actually feels fairly smooth but in the corners we'll have to talk about how they feel on corners to a wide lug wide lug <laughs> wide lug so when you lean over in corners with the wide lug the uh the knobby is not going to fold over because it's such a wide lug it's going to provide you with a contact patch so they should be decent in curves they shouldn't be like a strict like dot like strict uh, knobbies these are more of a wide lug so should be all right should be all right. Here's a curve. How do I feel on the curve? I don't know. It feels feels like I could do it. Doesn't feel unsure. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're coming from a pure street tire, you're gonna feel some vibrations from from these. But it ain't. It ain't. It's literally not bad. Back brake works. <laughs> Yay. Also feels like the guys who did them at AM Performance and Batavia, shout out to them, did a good job. Okay, I want to see how these will hook up in the dirt. <laughs> Got some spin, but the sucker went. Oh, wow. Ooh. <laughs> I 
All right. I tell you what, that. I tell you what, that that hooks. That does hook. Oh yeah. Turn around. Hooks like a motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, this is a real off-road tire right here. Okay. Let's see. Woo! <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it hooks in the grass, guys. It hooks in the grass. Again. Ha! The only thing with all this dust is I can't see the bumps coming. <laughs> Woo! So yeah, getting back to these tires for this type of, type of thing, your little gravel lane. This feels great. <laughs> nice to actually be on the uh, off-road with some actual off-road vehicles. that firmly Got some more friendly fire. <laughs> He's flying. <laughs> Almost had to reach for fourth. <laughs> Ooh. So on something like this, this rally tire, I gotta say, is awesome. It's absolutely awesome. It's hooking up. I was getting some air off there. It's a lot more fun than riding on pure street tires. Absolutely. There he is, the dude who invited me out. Oh yeah, this is a lot more fun. Thanks to Brandon for uh, telling me it's coming out. So basically, I mean, I turned this 701 into <laughs> yeah, darn near an off-road monster. <laughs> Except for I don't like having a 21 on the front, so I got some meteor tires, a little thicker, but it's not quite a 21, but 
crap on the 17 inch having a thicker front tire it's almost like having an 18 or 18 and a half darn there so it's pretty good <laughs> he's clowning on that little quad. Ha, <laughs> boy, you went around the water. <laughs> to me with all kinds of dust. these loose bigger rocks are the reason why I got the seven made sure I got the 70s so wider sidewall to maybe protect my warp nine wheels pretty pretty rims on a bike that's gonna get used right that way yeah I got a big meaty back tire hopefully I don't get stuck <laughs> oh yeah
I don't know if I'm ready for that steep one yet. <laughs> Not sure if I'm ready for that steep one yet, but I zipped right back up that. This one's easy. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and I went through that deep ass mud pit down there. Come along the side of the uh, Well, the good news is I went through that deep ass mud pit with that tire. <laughs> no problem. Nice. Holy cow, I'm dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap. We're gonna go down there and turn back because I think you have to get her back at a certain point. Oh god. Woo! <laughs> oh there it is. <laughs> no, not off the not off the cliff. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's probably, that's probably not bad. It looked worse from down there. <laughs> uh, bike's taller. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, I just cleaned off the camera. Sorry guys. I'm sure it's muddy again. Let's see if I can get out this rut. guys no foxes given he's 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 up on the seat it's never it's never a good sign when you're falling on a supermoto I guess we're bombing the mud pit. Whoa, all right. <laughs> all right, well. Whoop. All right, we're down here now. Whew, ha. That was a rut. All right, <laughs> we're getting all variety of tests on these tires, right guys? I damn near had to lay down back there. <laughs> I caught a rut.
is beautiful down here. Did it look bad? <laughs> like this, your bike was like that. Yeah. I was most of the way down, wasn't I? Yeah. <laughs> you got that camera? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good hill there. creep through we'll just creep through the middle of the mud pit I'm all right guys Whew. sliding sliding Woo. <laughs> okay Look at guys, I'm dainty. I don't like to splash too much. Plus, I got my phone on my bars. <laughs> Neutral pop. Okay. Miniature hill climb. Not bad. Too much water. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Wait. So Byron. Yeah. We go the other way. Woo! <laughs> you get leaned over on the side in a wheelie and it, it wants to go like hard in that direction. I won't say pancake, but it does want to go hard in that direction. Oh 
Okay. So let's lean this over pretty far. So yeah, that's all you're not gonna rip like Rossi on these tires on the road, but you can lean over and like I said, the lugs are thick enough, they're not gonna fold over. It's not a bad road tire, very aggressive, will get you through mud pits. So if you're gonna do a fair amount of off-roading or if you're not gonna do that much off-roading, but the off-roading you do is gonna feature mud pits, yeah. These will push you through. Like I said, they're vibey. Let's do another speed test. Okay. 75, a little vibey, but not bad at all. Yeah, not bad at all, guys. Yeah. These are good enough on the road. And I can ride with the quads. <laughs> Give me the old Woo! <laughs> Alright guys. <laughs> I I drove back out here for that. Oh, this is a good curve in this road. Let's hit this before we turn around. Hit it back the other way and not kill that raccoon, the dead one. Okay. That's interesting. My uh, zip tie broke, or my fender broke. My zip tie broke. Okay. Okay. have a little faith in it.
Oh yeah, it's still coming. Alright. Landing. Three, two, one. Alright. Let's get it! Alrighty then. Thanks for coming out on a ride today. Pretty fun testing out these new tires for the first time. It went in a day two. I wanted to record my outro. I wanted to get the drone up in the air. But anyway, final first take synopsis on the, these tires is on the road, they're not nearly as vibey as you would think. It's like a very slight vibration, pretty smooth. And actually, the faster you go, the more smooth they feel. Got down into a couple corners a little bit. Still getting used to the tires. Take a look at them. Come down onto the lugs on the side. So very solid. It's a wide lug, so it's not very liable to fold over. So all in all, a very good tire. Very good in the mud. Good on the road. <laughs> not as great as like a regular street tire, but it does well enough on the road. And uh, it feels nice. The only thing with a wide lug when you're in the mud and the loose stuff, you're gonna get a little side to side swaying. Not too bad, but the paddles and the space in the lugs, you can see how muddy my bike is. It'll, it'll push you through the mud, no problem. Anyway, that's my thoughts on these tires. Thanks for coming out with me, Underdog Moto Mania. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Come right with me, guys. Peace. Yeah.